Please read important safety information before watching this video. This training module covers the procedure for plumbing the injection valve on an Exigen Micro LC 200. The injection port is fitted to port 3 of the injection valve. Please see the replacing the injection port module for further information on how to install correctly. Connect the injection waste tube assembly, part number 5017800, to port 2 with a black peak headless fitting, part number 200-00418, and tighten using the small tightening tool, part number 200-00404. Bend the metal part of the tubing around the injection valve. This ensures it will not get caught by the movement of the auto sampler. Connect the other end of the tubing to the upper port on the front of the wash station. Connect the sample loop to ports 1 and 4 with black peak headless fittings and tighten using the small tightening tool. Connect the mixer to valve assembly, part number 5017801 to port 6 with a black peak headless fitting and tighten using the small tightening tool. Connect the other end to the pump outlet. Connect the column to port 5. Use peak seal tubing, part number 205-00040 for 30cm length or part number 205-00041 for 50cm length and fit to port 5 with a black peak headless fitting and tighten using the small tightening tool. If a guard column is to be used, fit the guard column to port 5 and fit the peak seal tubing to the guard column. Connect the other end of the peak seal tubing to the column using a peak fitting, part number 200-00342 and tighten using the large tightening tool, part number 200-00356. The outlet of the column is connected to the Turbo V probe using 10 cm peak seal. Use grey 50 micron ID peak seal tubing, part number 205-00069, or if running at flow rates less than 20 microliters a minute, use orange 25 micron ID peak seal tubing, part number 205-00091. Fit both ends of the peak seal with peak fittings and tighten using the large tightening tool.